Good evening, everyone, and welcome to an exciting new Splatoon 2 live stream. Just a reminder, this product is provided by Nintendo, so thank you guys for that. Today we're going to be, or rather tonight, we're going to be playing the newest Splatoon 2 map, The Lost Outpost. I did not expect a Splatoon 2 update on a Tuesday evening, but hey, here we are. Unfortunately, it's not available in normal Salmon Run yet. It's only available in, uh only available in land right now out at the shoal fortunately i do have two switches so i've set up a little room where i'll connect i'll connect my switches to each other and um i'll play by myself basically it'll be kind of difficult which is why we have it set, set to five percent however however there is something good apparently there are i think 26 new weapons in salmon run if you check the uh if you check the if you check the patch notes so we're actually going to check the patch notes and talk about those just for a moment because they are really, really interesting and I want to go over them before we get started. Because this isn't, you know, this is, this is Salmon Run, but uh, it is like, it's the general Wednesday update live stream. <laughs> we'll go over it a bit more on Wednesday, I guess, but I do want to go over all the patch notes like we do for ARMS. So uh, let's take a look at those right now from uh, Nintendo's website. I could probably do something fancy where I put them up on stream, but that's that's a lot of work, isn't it? Uh, so we'll just read through them right now. So first, finally, finally, they have changes to how player ranking works. They say, fix, fix an issue where player rank would slightly change despite a message displaying that player rank would not change when other players disconnected early in a match. If you watched the, the previous ranked, Race to the Top rank match live stream, you know that happened to us. I was just about to rank up but I had three cracks in my bar, and we had a disconnect on our team, which was so stupid. So of course we lost, and then it said, your rank won't change, and my rank bar broke. And that was ridiculous. I just completely raged. No shame in saying that. And they finally fixed the bug. I should get my rank back, honestly. But they have no way of tracking when that happened, I guess. <laughs> um, they enhanced spectator mode so that you can uh, see some new things. They fixed some bugs, which is nice. And of course, for Salmon Run, they added the new Lost Outpost stage, which is the stage that we will be... Um, We'll be going over, we'll be playing all throughout tonight's stream. It'll be kind of a short stream since it's just a Salmon Run stage, but uh, it'll be pretty fun. We'll check it out, go over some strategies. It'll be good. They've added 21 weapons, not 26, sorry. I'm guessing they're all of the weapons that we've used in Salmon Run so far. Uh, everything from the Dooley Squelchers to the Ink Brush, yay, Mini Splatling. Uh, I think Heavy Splatling was already there, right? Mm, I haven't played too much of the Shoal. And then we'll get... Uh, like I said, Julie Squelchers I really want. I'm trying to think of the ones that I want. Splattershot Pro would be pretty nice. Jet Squelcher, hopefully, any of the Squelchers. Uh, Tri Slosher, fingers crossed for, that would be nice. Uh, oh, here's something cool. The Flyfish can now be defeated by using a Splashdown special on their launchers. I don't know if that means that you have to do, like, super crazy jump and land Splashdown inside their launchers, or if you just hit them with the Splashdown, like, Splash, I guess. Um... Then their launches go away. That's that's kind of a nice nerf because that way they're still challenging to defeat normally, but you can whip out your special panic, d kill a fly fish pretty easily. I like that. Splashdown is more useful now, which is good. Uh, they they fixed an issue with Stinger hitting the a boss Staminid, uh, and they wouldn't release Ink, which is interesting. Uh, they they fixed some other some other bugs, all that all that good stuff, and of course. They adjusted some of the Salmon Run weapons, in case you haven't heard. So the Slosher had some bug fixes, so that way, uh, before there's a bug, I guess, where if you're standing in different positions, your Slosher would deal a lot less damage to different Salmonids, uh, is what I'm hearing people say. But I don't remember experiencing that, probably because I just didn't notice, thankfully. They have, they have buffed the no, no, no brain, no game bucket main weapon, that's pretty nice. Sorry, I'm kind of tired, it's 9.30. <laughs> um... They fixed the blaster, so now it deals 40% more damage, which is crazy, and it consumes 20% less ink. The Clash Blaster deals 25% more damage and consumes 20% less ink. The Carbon Roller uh, consumes 30% less ink with its swings, and the Splat Roller consumes 14% less ink with its swings. So some pretty interesting changes there. Uh, a lot, all buffs, all buffs, no weapon nerfs. Just buffs to the Slosher, Blaster, Clash Blaster, Carbon Roller, and Splat Roller. So I'm down for that. Especially Carbon Roller and Splat Roller felt pretty, uh... Like, they they took up a lot of ink, as did the Blasters. So I'm excited about that. I would have liked some way to deal with the Stinger as the Blaster, as the Roller. But maybe we'll see that in a future patch. 
So they fixed some other multiplayer period, uh, sorry, not periods, I was reading the, the text while talking. Some other multiplayer glitches, uh, sound glitches, they fixed the clipping glitches, you can't uh, hide the Rainmaker inside Sturgeon Shipyard anymore, which is really nice. Uh, I hate when people do that. Uh, I would just not play when it was on the rotation. They fixed some tower control issues, which is good. And, okay, here's the big one. Adjusted the size of the sponge near the spawn points in Pork Mackerel to fix an issue where a slight discrepancy existed between the height of the sponge when fully expanded and the height of the platform on the tower. So now everything's perfectly even. Everybody can rest easy. Splatoon 2 is fixed. Uh, just 10 out of 10 down. Before it was a 9.5 9 out of 10. And they've, they've done a lot of weapon balancing, so I'll just go over the important ones. The Splushomatic moves 11% faster when shooting. The, uh, the Luna Blaster was buffed, uh, I don't really know what wobbling is, but they talk about it a lot. I don't play Blaster, so sorry that I don't know the special terms. If anybody wants to explain what wobbling is, then let me know and I'll go more into detail on how they changed it, but I don't really, I don't really know what that is. I think that's a Nintendo term. I've never seen it used. Uh, they decreed... They decreased ink consumption on swings for the rollers, uh, they, uh, increased the dynamo rollers, uh, kill range by 14%, which is awesome because a lot of people were complaining about that, finally giving dynamo rollers some much needed buffs. They reduced the amount of time required to char fully charge a shot for all of the chargers by 4 sixtieths of a second, or, uh, 4 frames. They reduced the amount of time to fully charge the shot for GooTuber, best, best charger in the game, didn't even need a buff by five frames, nice. So now it's now it's one frame less behind normal chargers, if that makes sense, because the other chargers were buffed by four frames. You know, the GooTubers charge time was buffed by five. So it's it's still really bad, honestly. And whoa, second GooTuber buff, reduced the amount of time between losing a stored charge and being able to fire again by five frames. Great, because GooTuber is about losing your charge, right? Not retaining it. Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> the Heavy Splatling and Hero Splatling up replica, huge, huge, huge. Increased moving speed while charging by 20%. 20%. And when they're shooting, they have 3% increased movement speed now, so that's still pretty good. Uh, it's small, but it makes a difference. Splat Dooleys, Hero Dooleys have 9% uh, increased firing range, which is good because uh, before they were like way, way, way worse than the uh, Dooley Squelchers, and now they're like only sort of worse. And get this. Both uh, Splat Dooleys and Hero Dooleys now require 200 points to fill their special gauge. That's kind of outrageous to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Dooleys keep getting changed. Uh, Umperry wasn't nerfed, which is interesting. And they buffed the, the baller, so now it takes 40% reduced damage from most weapons. Pretty interesting. So, now, we're going to get into this now that we've gone over all of the patch notes. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like that. If you didn't, let me know. Be like, Leafy, you wasted my five minutes. I want my money back. Uh, so I'm gonna get into this. <laughs> my other Switch is just gonna kind of sit idle and uh, do do nothing, basically. So it's it's Sam and Run solo gameplay is basically what it is. Oh, I probably should have equipped a weapon. I don't know what I have equipped right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> let's see. How's it going, guys? Uh, Ryan, Wendy's, Jody, Santi, Mel, uh, Stop Cancer, Jackson, Gabriel, Juan Lopez, Unknown. Great to see you guys. Moderator, Angrio, Infected Duck, Ray, a Andrew, Clex, Jack, and <laughs> so many people coming. It's great to see you guys. Hopefully, you're excited to see what I'm guessing is the first gameplay of this Salmon Run stage. I haven't really checked it out myself yet, or at all, rather. Is this Japanese? No, it just really looks like it. Splatoon language, that, that's a Japanese character. There, there are a few there, but it's not entirely Japanese. Splatoon's language is weird. Uh, I've heard it's nonsense. Like, it doesn't actually mean anything. There's not a consistent writing system. Which is kind of interesting. But I don't really know how true that is. How's it going, Mac? Great to see you, Subatomic Shrimp. So we have all this bending over here, which is very, very scary. And we have just a few platforms to kind of, uh, kind of save you. Just in case anything is chasing you down, even like <laughs> uh, a normal chum is probably going to get you on those nettings if you didn't have those uh, those platforms. The big walkway on spawning grounds is very scary to me. So over here we have some water, of course, we're surrounded. Uh, and we have some nice- oh, god dang it. So <laughs> there's an issue, I guess, if you're playing uh, solo. Then if you don't press anything on your switch periodically, then you disconnect. I forgot about that. So, <laughs> sorry, this is kind of tricky. So I gotta, like, hang on. That was weird, sorry. If I just hold down the joystick, like if I tie it with a rubber band or something, <laughs> will that work? 
<laughs> or will it still think that I'm disconnecting? If I hold down a button with something, will it think that I'm disconnecting? I wonder. Uh, we'll, we'll do something easy. I'll just, here, I'll, I'll like put it, I, I, I have a good thing figured out. I have a good thing figured out, trust me. I would need to diagram it. So we're gonna do, uh, maybe Splattershot Pro, maybe. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Splattershot Pro might be best weapon for this, uh, for Salmon Run. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're, we're back to it. If this works, says Shogun down 365. Oh, it will. How's it going, Momo? Momo, great to see you. <laughs> Scooby says you're dead, no big surprise. Hey, I didn't die. I disconnected. How's it going, Chewy Bunny? Great to see you again. Of course I remember you. Yeah, I just uh, didn't recognize your new name. Put it under your foot and press it with your toe. Oh, I'm like pressing it with my wrist, but toe's probably a better idea. Notice how I'm pressing it with my wrist. This is going to be hard to remember. <laughs> okay, so over here, can these be inked? Yeah, probably. Okay, so you can ink this, which is interesting. The connection is unstable, it says. Oh, Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> if I if I hold down the joystick, will it work? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We're about to see. Oh god, I should have tested this, honestly. I didn't think that it would disconnect me from LAN. I just thought that it was like a uh, online multiplayer thing to make sure that players weren't going AFK, rage quitting. But I figured they'd be like, well, in land, it's okay, because no nobody cares in land. You can just punch your, your punch your friend in the face if they rage quit. Whoops! Defeat. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with... Mm, try to figure out a good way to do it, because I think that holding down the joystick works. Uh, Sir Rosa asks, how, Leafy, how is the new map? Uh, it's it's good, as good as it gets when you can't really, you can't really play it. Uh, I'm, I'm working something out. Hang on. How do we want to do this? Lower the percentage, that's called. It's at 5%. Leafy, are you going to play Pokken? Asked Andrew. Of course I am. I'm psyched for Pokken. Itsuki just got Sonic Mania. Ooh, that's a good buy. Here, I'll like, I'll position the joystick under my palm. This will work. I promise. Maybe. <laughs> All right, cool. What are your thoughts on Lollipop as Infected Duck? I'm excited for her. I think that she looks pretty powerful, at least. So we'll certainly be streaming when uh, she releases, whenever that is. Okay, I, I think I have this figured out. I think I have a good position. <laughs> I have to like, I have to manage my hand, my left hand, like as it's resting on the joystick of my other Switch. Um, and I have to manage actually playing Salmon Run. Yeah, I guess Splattershot Pro is high ink consumption, but its combination of power and high rate of fire is pretty, pretty fantastic combination for Salmon Run, especially, because you need to be able to take down Stingers, but you also need to be able to take down everything else. Uh, plus, it has really good range, which is why I'm not using Splash. I feel like Splash is a little too close quarters for Salmon Run. So, where are we going? Steve LR says, oh my god, Leafy, I bought a Switch in Splatoon 2 today. Awesome, dude. Fantastic purchase, though I might be a little biased considering that I play Splatoon 2 so much. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you can play with us on this week's Subscriber Saturday, where we'll be playing private matches on uh, Manta Marina, so that we can explore the stage, get used to it. Since if it's on the stage rotation, then you only have a 50% uh, chance of actually playing on it. Okay, so this is working. Hey, we met our quota. Our quota of one egg. <laughs> this is difficult. Hey, thank you so much for the donations, Sean Diamond. He says, uh, new stage hype. Can't wait for this update. I can't either. Uh, I can't wait for Manta Marina on uh, this Friday. Of course, we'll be doing the Nighttime Friday update live stream as well. Plex asks, Leafy, on Saturday, can we squid party? No, never. Not on my streams. <laughs> I don't see the point of it. It's, it's just a waste of time. Like, who would actually enjoy watching a squid party? Just people literally holding ZL and mashing it? That's not exactly interesting. Not against people that do it, but I'm not going to stream that. Manta Maria, not Manta Marina. Oops! I was thinking of, uh, I was thinking of Marina. It's Manta Maria, got it. 
So let's see here. Uh, where else on the stage haven't we really explored? Well, we have this. This is kind of dangerous because you're going to get pushed back into the water here. These guys are going to come out, push you into the water here. <laughs> or you're going to get chased up the ramp, which is which is okay because Welcome Victor versus Gaming. Because if Simmons come out here, then you can bait them up the ramp and you can bait them right back to your base and uh, just have the eggs come out literally right next to your container, which is sweet. It's awesome. So, uh, I like that. I like that side of the map. Hey, thank you so much, Party Cat. He says, uh, hey, Leafy, I didn't even know the new, ma new map was out. Yep, it literally just came out. So, as always, we're streaming the updates on the dot. That's what you can count on us for. Oh, Christ. You can also count on me for dying in rank 5% Salmon Run Solo. <laughs> Benoxious asks, Leafy, how do you read the chat when you're playing without dying? Because I'm not playing without dying. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there maintenance as Vezrix? Because they are updating the game. Yeah, it does have a zombie survival feel, Luna, and welcome. Uh, never give up. <laughs> give up. That's kind of cute. That's really cute, actually. Dano 5% was so hard, says Andrew. It's not. It's just hard when you're trying to... You're using your left hand to hold down the joystick on a separate controller, and you're also playing the game by yourself. It's easy with four people, even if they're completely incompetent. So we're going to try out, uh, what are we going to try out? Let's do, try Saucer, maybe? No, let's do Splash, the classic. The, the classic o -matic. Thanks for coming, Angrio. Thanks for coming, j 12 Kong. Great to see you. He says he's GooTuber. No, thanks. Came out early as Claudio. Didn't come out early. They just uh, decided to release it on a Tuesday night for some reason. I dare you to try 100%, says Santi. I dare you to... No, no thanks. Welcome, Banana Joe. Thank you so much. He says, Leafy, I'm new and I just subscribed. If you guys are enjoying the stream, if you want, uh, Splatoon 2 streams every single time that every single update hits the exact very moment that they come out, then make sure to subscribe because that's what I do. Turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of them. Uh, we'll be back this Friday exploring Manta Maria and playing it with our viewers. So if you want to play it with me, then there we go. When does this actually come out to play in Salmon Run, asked Christina. Uh, it comes out like the 27th, I think. They had uh, spawning grounds listed for the next two, though that might have just been a placeholder. Super Gamer asks, do you have Mario plus Rabbids? I do not. Ubisoft has been kind of weird with press copies for that. Uh, so I do not have one, unfortunately. Not have one yet. I might be able to get one soon. I literally only know one person that got one. <laughs> and I asked them how they got it, and they just didn't respond. So, the, the mystery continues. Even people that I know that got invited to the press event in LA, they, like, got invited to fly over there, didn't didn't get one. So, I don't know. I guess Ubisoft just doesn't really want to send them out. Uh, that's, that's their decision. Or at least send them out early. Yeah, I know SNES Classic pre-orders came out today, uh, J12 Cone. Sorry you couldn't get one. I didn't. I didn't get one. Uh, I, I want to get one, but I don't know how I feel about spending $80 on one. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. That wasn't something that I was ready to pre-order, I guess. Whoa, I've never seen the Snatcher with three eggs before. That was really funny. He had one in his mouth and two in his hands. <laughs> so let's check out this side of the stage, because we haven't yet. Uh, so here's a ramp, so Salmonids will come up here. Uh, here is a Steel Eel in action. Yeah, I hate this. I hate this stage. Oh, God. Leave, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. We legit... Oh, man. Two more seconds and we would have died. That's awful. Whew. That was awful. Super Gamer Guy, congratulations. You got a SNES Classic pre-order, right? So, yeah, I think that these lanes, the really, really narrow lanes, are dangerous in some capacity, of course. But you can also use them to your advantage because everything leads directly to your egg basket. So if you lure all the salmonids up here, you can sort of you sort of climb up here. Uh, you can just get all of your eggs right by your basket, like here, right here. Uh oh. How do you list the salmon run stages? This one included. Asks Sonic Mania Owl. I don't know what that question is. If you're asking how do you know what the salmon run stages are, you press uh you press X uh in Inkopolis Plaza or whatever it's called now. And then you press R a couple of times, and then you scroll to the bottom where it says Salmon Run. You press R a couple of times so that it says Stages. 
Grillers are going to suck on this level, says Vinoxious. Oh, I completely agree. Grillers will be absolutely impossible. <laughs> oh, Super Gamer Guy pre-ordered Mario plus Rabbids. He can't find a SNES Classic anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no one really can. Pre-ordering Mario plus Rabbids isn't a bad idea. You should get the Day 1 Edition if you haven't. It comes with, I don't know, some sort of DLC thing Day 1 because Ubisoft. Uh, it'll be a really fun game. I'm super excited to play it. How's it going, Sean Freeman? Thanks for coming. So far, which is your favorite stage, S. Stock Cancer? Um, probably, I don't know, I really like this one, but it's hard to say it's my favorite stage. I'd say probably still, uh, whatever you call it at the moment. <laughs> What's the one that's not spawning grounds? I can't remember right now for some reason. Probably because it's 9.45 p.m. Uh, it is the other one. The other one that's not spawning grounds. That's my favorite because it has a lot of interesting stage mechanics. Like, this is cool. It has a cool stage layout, but it doesn't have any mechanics. Uh, it's not like, okay, so we have the fans over here, and we have, uh, we have multiple layers to the map, but we do have, we have, we have walls in this one, which we, it's like, okay, walls. We had walls in the other ones. They weren't dividing a single plane, but we still had walls. It's not that big of a deal. It's a very interesting map. It's laid out in a really cool way. But, um... It's not like... I don't know. It's not super exciting to me. It's it's so, still really awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastically designed map from what I can tell so far. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's going to give us a much different Salmon Run experience, which is certainly something we needed after a month of only two maps. And, uh, I'm just really excited to be playing on it. However, I do look forward to seeing, hopefully, more Salmon Run maps in the future. I'm guessing we'll get one per month, maybe, hopefully. That will be nice. Uh, one for the multiplayer boys and one for the Salmon boys. And then, uh, hopefully they integrate some more stage mechanics, if you get what I mean by that. Bounce pads, grind rails, lawn pads, all sorts of cool stuff. I would like to see that. Dominique asks, uh, is the update out now? No, I'm playing without the update, because that would make sense. <laughs> of course the update is out now. It just hit. That's why they had maintenance. Click, uh, click plus, and then click update. And then, uh, oh, Maruna's Bay, that's the name of the other stage. And then you can update the game. You have to click VL online. Are you gonna show high tide? Also low tide as card agency. I can't control that. If it's there, I'll show it, but I can't make that happen. <laughs> If I could control high tide and low tide, I would never have either. <laughs> uh, well, no, I'd make low tide and then I'd just abuse it, because low tide is pretty easy on certain stages. Protofire, welcome. Great to see you. Slam! Okay, cool. We cleared it. <laughs> okay. See, this is just... Oh my god. Really? They just want you to die here. That's why they put that here. Serves no purpose other than killing you. We have to look at the pretty background next. Our tides and low tides don't happen often on 5%. Yeah, that's true. Zooka Frog, yes, I've seen Lola Pop. That's the final time that I'll answer that today. And uh, she looks really cool. I'll be streaming it uh, when, when the update comes out. Yeah, sure. Let's move on to 10%. It's good ask, have you 100% of the story mode with all the weapons? I 1000%ed the game two days after I got it, which was two weeks before you did get squid. Uh, so, yeah, it, certainly. So hero mode is my favorite part of Splatoon in general, like Splatoon as a series. Hmm. Just reading through the comments, there's some interesting ones. Party Cat asks Leafy, when does Mario Plus Rabbids come out? You will be very excited to know that you'll be very excited to know that Mario Plus Rabbids releases August 29th, one week from now. So yeah, very excited about that. I'll be buying it day one. Uh, I think I think I'm getting a day one copy from Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Uh, so maybe not buying it day one, but I'll be getting it day one. That's for sure. I'm super excited to play it, like ridiculously. I've been looking forward to this game since it was announced, and I was a lot of people were like, "Oh, this is gonna be gross," and I'm like, "Nah, dude, you just gotta believe. <laughs> this game is gonna be sick." Angry ass thoughts on people using bots to get the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic. Uh, they are weak. They will be uh, culled by natural selection soon enough, and the strong will rise. 
Those who manu manually got your SNES Classic, thanks for being good people. You are strong, you will survive. Uh, and I hope that you get a lot of eggs in High Tide Grillers. Oops. Unlike, uh, unlike the botters, who will probably die like that. The botter- people who use botters to get SNES Classics are the same people that, uh, spread across the entire map when you're spamming this way at a choke point when, uh, High Tide Glow Flies happens. That's- that's what those people are. They're like, ah, I'm- I'm a useless member of society. <laughs> How's it going, Cat Lumi? What do you think of Forge Splattershot Pro Kid, Azuki? Oh man, I'm so excited. Looks sick. No way, we're going back to 5%. <laughs> I'm too scared. Oh man, Shogun Yon starts school on the 29th. That's so sad. <gasps> Ooh, KZ works at Toys R Us, so he gets a classic. That's sick. That's sick. That is really, really cool. How many hours did you put into Kira Mode? Like, did you stay up very late as Kid Squid? Uh, I played Kira Mode for 15 hours a day, two days in a row. So, yeah, I'd say certainly. Cell so Champion sat on his hour on his computer for three hours, clicking over and over until he got one. Hey, you are strong, Zelda Champion. That's why he called Zelda Champion, not Zelda useless member of society like those other people are that use bots. <laughs> Salmon Run isn't open on mine, says Brendan. That's because we're playing in LAN. Welcome, T the Great Gamer. Thanks for the sub. You think the ship map is near Mahi Mahi Resort? Asks Itsuki Floof. Uh, I think it's possible. I like thinking about that stuff. I like the lore. Like, the Mario Kart courses are all connected. Not all, but in... Uh, I forget. Either Wii or Double Dash. A lot of them are. In Double Dash. In Double Dash. You can see a ton of courses in the background of other courses. So I wouldn't be surprised the Splatoon guys did something like that. What's interesting is you can't really stand on top here. They just kind of slide you off. I was hoping that you could stand on top, but you can't. Nowhere. Well, that takes a bit of the fun out of it. <laughs> Welcome Fox Gaming 99 Thanks for the sub. Is there a way I can join you as Electric Blue Gaming? LAN stands for Local Area Network, not Online Area Network. <laughs> that that's not that, that was the joke for you uh, Net Plus guys out there. The the joke is that Online Area Network isn't a thing. Welcome TNC Everything. Thanks for the sub. Here, let's let's revive. Yeah, sure. You know what? I should be reviving myself just in case like me me dies so that other me can can survive. But that's kind of cheating. That's not playing solo. Welcome, Brendan Shaw. Oh, gear, let's test out. Let's test out the buff, dude. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Like I said, other me is alive. Let's go, let's go. I got I got the ink check going. You can't see it, but this is intense. <laughs> oh boy. Two seconds left. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Pro plays. Oh man, Element S, how are you playing land? Carefully. <laughs> That's how I'm playing it, carefully. Egg Basket is ready and waiting. Let's go, guys. You get Breath of the Wild or Rate for Rabbids, as Noxious. You'll get a lot more playtime out of Breath of the Wild, that's for sure. If you really want Rabbids, then go for Rabbids, but I highly suggest going Breath of the Wild. Here, let's test it out. Can you just slam them? Nope, you have to, like, actually legit slam inside their baskets, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's... yeah, okay. You know, that's that's a good nerf. People are going to be able to do that all the time, aren't they, Nintendo? That's just a thing that happens all the time. Yeah, I'm guessing that splashdowning in one bin will only take out that single bin. That, that seems like a thing they do. <laughs> this is not a flyfish nerf in any capacity. I'm not saying they should have nerfed the flyfish, but this, I don't know, this doesn't feel right. If you're gonna do a nerf, do a nerf. If you're not, then like, don't. Here's high tide, by the way, for those who, or low tide, for those who are wondering. Our basket is over here now. We've got, we've got all these ramps again. Certainly no space to like actually do stuff in. We have a bunch of netting. A little platform would be very appreciated here. Which is why they didn't give us one. This, this map is supposed to be kind of brutal. Yeah, okay, nice. Good game. Good G, dude. Good G. How are you liking the new Salmon Run map, back, Zach? Uh, it's really fun. It's really fun. There isn't as much to explore as I was hoping for. Uh, the other, this is a really small map, which is good. It's good. It's uh, it's very difficult, which is awesome. 
uh, we had to wait a month for a Salmon Run map, which I'm not saying that's bad, it's good that they took the time to develop it. Take your time, Nintendo, please, you know, Persona 5 loading screen, haha, -ha, guys. Uh, take your time, make good maps, please. Give us good content, don't rush it out the door. So, I'm not upset that we had to wait for it, but I'm saying that since we had to wait a month for a third Salmon Run map, then I'm happy that they made it a difficult one. I'm happy that they didn't make it super easy. Let's see if they change the stages. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's still spawning grounds. We'll go one more map, and then we're gonna stop for tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll stream more tomorrow, of course. But for now, I just wanted to give a quick look at it. Yeah, Koro Koro Splat Roller would be really cool Super Gamer Guy, mainly because I love Koro Koro. I buy it all the time. Uh, they have all sorts of cool goodies in there. It's, it's really fun. It's really cute. I, I love it. For those who don't know, it's a comic magazine in Japan. Uh, find room. I was hoping that spawning grounds was just a placeholder, and they'd update it later with, uh... They'd update it later with Lost, Lost Outpost, but no, I guess not. So let's play, let's play Clash Blaster, because they up, they updated it. So here are all the weapons, by the way. Arrow Meme, and Zap, Jet Splatter, heck yeah. Splattershot Jr., Splattershot, Splattershot Pro, Luna Blaster, Splashmatic, 52 gal, 96 gal, Blaster, Flash Blaster, HC Nozzle Nose, Dynamo, Splat Charger, Rapid Blaster, Carbon Roller, Flingzo Roller, Splatter Scope, L3 Nozzle Nose, Splat Roller, Octobrush, e Eater 4K, e Eater 4K Scope, Tri Slosher, Dapple Dooleys, Welcome Epic Mario, Splat Dooleys, Mini Splatlang, Goo Tuber, Slosher, and Heavy Splatlang. So it seems like most, or if not all, of the unique weapons are in here. Let me know if they're missing any. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any, but some guy is probably gonna be out there like, but. But Leafy, I mean sloshing machine, and it's not in this. <laughs> so yeah, they they probably forgot something, and I'm not remembering it right now. So let's do a little little clash blaster. Heck yeah! Let's get in there. Hey, welcome Jorpin. He says, "Where's the Splatty McG streamer?" <laughs> I don't know Jorpin. Hey, fancy, thanks for the sub. This is uh, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Five for the Xbox One. It's funny because no one bought an Xbox One. This connection is unstable. No, it's not. It's literally... My switches are literally right next to each other. Unless my table is blocking the connection that much. Welcome, well wrecked. Which I don't believe. Reskin weapons don't count. Yeah, I know, Captain. That's why I said unique weapons. Unless you're telling the people in the chat. The stage looks so complicated, but I love it, though, says Dark Savage. Yeah, pretty much. It's a maze. You get trapped really easily. Welcome, Colt Fernandez. Thanks for the sub. Slam, slam, slam. Oh, Brella and Squiffer are missing, says uh, Andrew. Good observation. Squiffer hasn't been in Salmon Run yet, if I'm correct. Or maybe it has and I missed it. Welcome, Lucas Stillo. Thanks for the sub. But they're certainly missing Brella. Brella was in there day one. Or day two, I think. How's it going, Jiffy? Great to see you, dude. Who is Atlas S. Rayon? My other Switch. <laughs> Welcome, Alex L. Thanks for the sub. Atlas, for those who don't know, created the Persona trilogy, as well as the Persona spin-off series, Shin Megami Tensei. Kappa. When will this be available in multiplayer, S. Joe? I'm guessing August 27th, which is the third Salmon Run rotation, because the first two are spawning grounds. Oh, Dooley Squelchers aren't there. You're right, J12 Cone. That's pretty upsetting. I mentioned Dooley Squelchers as one of the main weapons that I wanted to be in the Salmon Run uh, loadout option thing. I don't know what to call it, okay? Salmon Run Al Arsenal? Salmon Run, uh, what's the fancy name that some games use for when, for like your groups of weapons? Uh, I'll think of it soon. It'll come to me in the middle of the night and I'll tweet it out. I'll be like, oh yeah! That thing. Your Salmon Run Armory? Slam! Oh, okay. Thanks, Atlas, dude. Hey, Leafy, what mechanics would you put in Salmon Run, asked Link Gamer. Uh, if you booyah 15 times, then you win the game. Or uh, you can manually re-roll your partners. If you're in high tie glow flies and nobody knows what to do, you can you can press a button, you can press like select or something, which does nothing, and you'll just get new teammates that actually know how to play the game. <laughs> That'll be a good feature. I'd add that. That'll be a nice gameplay mechanic. 
Is it possible to take down fly, with, fly fish without using bombs? Just curious, that's Neo. Um, yes. If you shoot inkjet into its containers, then you can take down the fly fish without any bombs. Oh boy, this'll, this'll be fun. Yeah, that was really fun. Alright, time for roller. I don't know why I chose roller on this dude. But we're going for it. Alright, Leafy, come here. Making me carry you seriously. Ah, alright. Gonna roll on over. Like I said, gonna roll on over. Uh, oh, god dang it! Leafy fell in the water again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sharpen says at this point, Shimigami Tensei really is the spin off series. I'm just sitting here crying about it. Oh no. Hey, thank you so much, Sean Diamond, for the generous donation of uh, $1.69. Thank you so much, Sean Diamond. Yes, are the nozzle noses good? Yes, very. I've tried the L3, but I failed miserably with it. Is there a technique, or is it just spam ZR and pray? The technique is to spam ZR, but not need to pray, because you're wicked good at aiming. If you aren't wicked good at aiming, because I'm not, which is why I don't play nozzle nose, <laughs> then don't play nozzle nose. But if you are good at aiming, then you will literally one-shot your opponents with the H3. Uh, L3 doesn't one-shot, but you know, by one-shot I mean hit in one sh press of the trigger. Uh, it's really good if you're really good, <laughs> is basically the nozzle nose. If you're really good with them, I'm not saying you aren't good, but uh, it's situational. I would suggest, if you want something sort of similar to the nozzle nose, then I would suggest nothing because the nozzle noses are pretty unique. <laughs> um, <laughs> jokes aside, you probably want them for, they have pretty good range in my opinion, so I would go Jet Sculpture, heck yeah dude. No, I go Force Splattershot Pro, because I really like the new Force Splattershot Pro loadout, I don't think it's out yet if I'm correct, but it has a good loadout, it has really good range, it has really good damage. Uh, it's gonna get you what you want, what you need, but it doesn't, it isn't gonna have that walk speed, though they nerfed it anyway, so who cares. Sean Diamond S, I haven't unlocked H3 yet, what level is unlocked? I have no idea, I made a whole video so I don't have to answer that, so... I'm gonna shamelessly shill and say go check that. Yes, Tri Slosher did not get touched. Great to see you, Yo Delfino. It did not get touched at all uh, in this patch, which is interesting considering that they touched a lot of stuff that didn't need touching. The hero duelies got in splat duelies, got up from 170 to 200 points for. Okay, sure. But Tri Slosher doesn't get touched. Yeah, that makes sense, because, you know. Splat Dooleys are really dominating and ranked, aren't they, guys? Yeah, we don't have the new weapon. So that is going to conclude tonight's stream. Thank you, Nintendo, for providing this product. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Salmon Run, some Race to the Top Rank Match live stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure to sub if you haven't already. We do live streams for Splatoon 2 every single day. We do it on the dot when the updates hit on Fridays. We play with viewers all the time. It's good times all around. So if you like good times all around, you, if, if you like bad times, we have a lot of bad times too. Like, oh man, the, there are a lot of those. So if you like bad times, subscribe too. And uh, re really just just subscribe. Really just just give me views, honestly. Just, uh, just you know, just smash that like button. Just break it, honestly. Make it just stop working. Uh, I don't like YouTube. I don't like their buttons. I think that the actuation pressure required is just way too high. Uh, I think that YouTube needs to switch to uh, Cherry MX Blue switches uh, on their like buttons. Uh, they have browns and they're just incredibly scrubby because of that. And if YouTube would do that, then I'd say, yeah, click the like button. But no, you gotta, gotta friggin' smash it. And that's that's just not okay. So you show YouTube who's boss and just... You know, just go wild on that like button. Give give him what for. Because, honestly, you look at his face, you look at that smile. That smug smirk on the like button's face. And you know, he's just asking for it. Bruise him up. Make him bleed. My sole interest is smashing that like button. <laughs>